We are I. All right, we are I family, you know, I've been waiting ever since I started this podcast, you know, to have like a, a pivotal moment, a moment that has just changed everything. And I wanted to be able to take this moment and use it as like the springboard to be able to, you know, give some life to we are I and, you know, like promote it a little bit on, you know, Facebook and Instagram, social media, you know, like really do like this, this big push to be able to get it out there. And, um, you know, I just, I haven't come across that yet. Like, I've had some absolutely amazing people, you know, on the podcast, you know, I feel like I've hit some like, you know, pretty great topics personally, you know, but I just, I never really felt it, you know, like I did, but I didn't, you know, with like a lot of people, even like myself, you know, and whether that's good or bad to say, you know, like, I don't know, but you know, like I said, it, it's also reflective of me and the message that I've put out there as well. But I've always known ever since I started We Are I, that there would be this, this moment or this person or like this situation where I would just know like this is going to be the time that I have to put the full force into, you know, getting We Are I's message out there. So I had this moment last week, you know, I had this gentleman on named Sohail and this weekend is going to be the weekend that starts off um, a four part series that it's actually going to be through the entire month of August. You know, every Sunday release is going to be another part in Sohail's journey. And you know, for anybody who knows me and, you know, like I even have a hard time saying this, not as in like I have a hard time like admitting it to the public or admitting it out there, like putting it out there to the world. I just, I have a hard time admitting it because of how much it rocks me as a human being. So I've said this to a few people, you know, ever since I've talked to Sohail and everybody I've said to is kind of initially thought I was crazy and you know, I know that you guys all will too as soon as I say this, but um, I'm just going to jump right into it. So I say to people that if I had met this man 2,000 years ago or so, like, you know, kind of at the beginning of when, you know, people say that, you know, the earth or like, you know, like the planet was graced with Jesus's presence and, or, you know, like wherever your beliefs are, you know, like when that started, like that moment when he came, like people were like, this, this man is different. Um, if I met Sohail 2,000 years ago or however long it was, I would absolutely believe that there was a God. And I know this puts this man on an extremely high pedestal and you think like, you know, like there's just, there's no way like that. That's, it's so absurd for you to say that it's, you know, for one, it, you know, kind of probably takes away from people who are faith based and, you know, maybe it's like demeaning, you know, like Jesus or, or their God, like a little bit. But and I don't mean it in any kind of offensive way. I just mean it in regards to that's the impact that this person has had on my life. And I can't say up until this point in my life that anybody has ever had the impact that this person has had in my life. And I've had some people make major, major contributions to my life, you know, good or bad. But this man has made me challenge myself physically. He's made me challenge myself emotionally. He's made me challenge myself intellectually. And he just, he's made me challenge what it's even like to be a human being. You know, when I would sit down with him and like we would talk, like we filmed or we recorded like his episodes of the podcast over three days. And we have over eight hours of recording and I guarantee you that over the course of the month after listening to that that airtime that if you're not thirsty for more there's got to be something wrong with you like it just I was left sitting on the edge of my seat I was left questioning my existence on this earth I was left questioning myself as a human being every single second that this person was talking you know like when we would have a conversation back and forth there's there's many times I didn't even feel like I had the authority to speak, but in the most pure, authentic way. You know, not that this man had more, that he had like this ego or this clout or that he didn't make it feel like I could talk. It was just that his presence, his presence as a human being, his presence via message, you know, his stories via proxy, like it just, he has changed this planet 
in so many ways, it, it's hard to even count them. Like it just none of it seems real. Like this this man's life does not seem real in any capacity. It it doesn't seem like one person could have this kind of contribution to this planet and affect this many human beings in so many regions of the world. You know, it just it always brings me back to like a person like Elon Musk, you know, like how can you, you know, be a billionaire and thirsty for so much more that you start a car company and you change the face of the planet? You know, then you have this boring company where you're going to, you know, offer like Hyperloop, which is going to change the world. You have SpaceX, you have this, like there's all these different components. And like this is what Sohail did. And this is what this man did for mankind. Like these people, like there's there's one or two of these people that come around and they just change everything. They challenge the status quo. They challenge every human being. They but from like a completely different angle, you know, like I remember when Elon Musk, you know, came out with it, with the Tesla brand and, you know, he put out there saying like, Hey, I don't care about being the only car company to have this technology. I'm going to post online all this technology for any car company to use. It doesn't matter. I just want people driving electric cars because I want to do good for our planet. Like this is like, so hell. You know, has nothing to do with personal gain. Absolutely nothing. Has been robbed of everything in his life many times. But to be able to help his fo- fellow man, to be able to propagate good in the world, to be able to live at peace knowing that he's given everything that he can to make other people happy, because living by like the most entrenched values of you know his Baha'i faith, just having to serve his fellow man, that serving his fellow man is his true path and his true right to happiness personally. And when you guys listen to this podcast, you're going to understand that like that every word that comes out of his mouth is so completely genuine. Like you hear, there's no way that you cannot be pulled into this man's story and be dumbfounded why he doesn't have a Nobel Peace Prize, how on earth I ever got in contact with him, how he just happens to be local to BC, living in Richmond, and just his story is incredible. Like it is my honor and my privilege to be able to release this man's story that's never been told before. And it always comes back down to these people who actually have contribution to our lives, you know, people who actually want to make change people who actually are willing to step outside their comfort zone their box and just say like no this is of what is a value to me and i am going to do this i'm not going to talk about no matter what the barriers are in life if you have ever thought that you've had a barrier in your life to be able to accomplish anything he will take that and he will strip it down and challenge you to ever question what you thought a barrier was. If you've ever thought that you've done good for your fellow man at any kind of scale, the same thing. He will just he will tear it down, but not in an egotistical way, not in like a, a hey, look at me. Not all, just the most genuine and the most pure way. And he's the first one to say it has absolutely nothing to do with comparing yourself against somebody else's contribution. It's that we all just need to contribute. We all need to be able to contribute to make ourselves happier and healthier and stronger as a species, as humanity, as a borderless community. And this is one thing that we talked about. It's like, we have this borderless community starting online via Instagram and Facebook and all these social media sites and look what we use it for. You know, 99% of the content on these these platforms is just, it's not even worth paying attention to. Because if you look at something that we should be paying attention to, it's stories like Sohail's. Like that's a story that we should be paying attention to but not pictures of some girl's bum that has 25,000 likes or some guy flexing a bicep the same way. Like this man has had real authentic contribution to this planet. And this is what we should be using these platforms for because it actually makes it so that we have a global community and a global village where we can all use these things as tools to be able to make us happier and healthier instead of the opposite. 
It doesn't need to be like a challenge. It doesn't need to be what am I going to do to be able to one up the next person. You know, like so Hill, he would be more than happy to be able to take a second seat. He'd be more than happy to be able to give his life, to be able to give anything in his life, to be able to take his his wife or his four children or anything in his life. He'd be able to anything, personal sacrifice, to be able to help his fellow man. And again, like the realness, like the entrenched realness of it. Like I just, I wish every single one of you could have had the chance to be able to sit there and just be impacted by this man. To see the look on his face, the jovial sound to his voice, the smile, his demeanor, his energy coming off his body. How he's so powerful, but yet so gentle and frail. Like how this man has been in every single situation you could ever possibly think of on this planet. From supplying electricity in remote jungles in Africa to being accused of being a CIA spy. You know, to having all his family assets embezzled by lawyers to his wife dying of cancer, to changing the face of this planet. And you'll hear when you listen to this podcast, like when I say changing the face of this planet, I've realized that every time that I've said that, you know, I wanted to make change in my community or, you know, I wanted to be able to have a positive impact on my community, you know, and then looked at the people that I thought were, you know, making real change in the world, it's challenged that definition exponentially. You know, because it wasn't necessarily just about the physical contribution, like the inventions and the engineering and the products that this man has came up with to be able to help all these people in all these countries and regions and villages in the world. But it's the friendships, the interpersonal relationships that he made along the way. It's the belief in his faith that no matter what he's willing to do, as long as you're willing to do good, You know, as long as everything that you're doing is in the face of a pure want to be able to do good for this world, good things happen. You know, we talk about this continually all the time. Like we talk about this regularly. You know, put out to the world what you want back. Life's golden rule. You know, do unto others what you want done unto you. You know, like live your best life. Like all these are concepts of the same thing. But I realize like how disingenuous it is for all of us to say that we're actually living it when you meet a person who is the definition of that. And then you realize like, you know, not only your potential as a human being, but everybody else's potential too. You know, and like this all comes back into time, you know, like into like how I feel like the experience that I get when I travel about how in Western culture, we're just, we're doing it all wrong. You know, but how when you travel to Europe and South America and, you know, like these places, like you see it and it's just like they may be not doing it perfectly, but they sure as hell are doing it a lot better than what we are here. And, you know, my eyes slowly get more open all the time and, you know, and meeting people like Sohail, like my heart is so much more open all the time. My mind is so much more open all the time. And I can't help it now. Like how, how can I live the rest of my life just knowing that somebody will sacrifice everything, everything that means anything to them except for his faith because it's the one thing that he knows if he banks on and believes in no matter what, he's going to be able to do good for anybody in, in any situation, in any corner of this planet because we are all interconnected because we are all the same person in the same village, in the same community, in the same country on one singular planet. We're all just that one person. You know, so like from giving up his absolute dream job because he knew that there was people suffering in this world, pretty much the day that he gets it, he gets a call, he gets this feel. He talks to one of his Baha'i leaders and they say that like, we need your help. So he sacrifices it to pack up a a wife and four children and leave the jungle to go to a war-torn communist country because you know these people need your help. It's incredible. This story is incredible. And I said it's been an absolute pleasure 
it's been life changing for me. Like I still have not got over like this was last Wednesday and Friday and it's Tuesday today that Sohail and his wife and I, Susan, sat down and we recorded these episodes and it's still like I, I have a tough time even thinking of the proper words to be able to explain this event because it was so profound. And I just think it's going to be an absolute honor to be able to share the story because I know you all because you guys all tune into this podcast, you know, for like a specific reason. And this, this man is that reason to an absolute gold standard key. Like he is unbelievable. It's incredible. So I want you to time or take the time out now. The reason why I want to release this now is because it's going to take some preparation time. It's going to take some thought. And I know that you guys are all probably thinking like there is no way that it's going to be this impactful. But if in any one of these podcasts that you listen to it while you were semi-distracted or you're listening to to it while you were cleaning the house or driving down the road, I guarantee you that there's going to be a significant portion of this podcast where you are just going to want to be isolated so that you can listen to it, so you can connect with him and you can connect with what he's saying. And always remember, you know, like that he's not selling you anything. He's not selling you a product. He's not selling you on himself. He's explaining his journey. He's explaining his journey to be able to make himself whole himself whole as a person himself as a whole to understand his love for himself his understanding of how to be able to give love to his community his understanding of how to be able to give love to all of his brothers and sisters on this planet and it's impactful it is profound and i would just be absolutely honored if this was the time you know where the most DMs, the most emails, the most reach outs because like I want to hear what you think. I want to hear how this has impacted your life. I want to hear how this has challenged you as a human being. I want to hear how long it takes for you to be able to recover after hearing this man talk. I want to hear how it'll change your life. I want to hear every part of it because it's going to help me come back around full circle to understand this experience more myself as well because like I said I still don't I know how I feel inside I know there's a message that I want to say behind this but as you can tell like even me talking about I'm just I'm struggling to be able to define it I am struggling to be able to give it the honor that it deserves to be able to allow you guys like a small window into the the impact that this has had in my life like i cannot go to bed i cannot eat during the, i cannot work i cannot sleep without thinking about how impactful and amazing this story has been and what this man has been through and what he has done it's incredible so this sunday You guys are all going to be honored. You're all going to have the opportunity. You're all going to have a chance to be able to listen to Sohail speak in part one of a four-part series. And again, these are going to be released all through August. And I would love your feedback. I would love for you to be able to reach out. And I would love it if you guys wanted to to be able to get in hold of Sohail. Like his information is going to be posted, you know, with every single one of the releases. I would love it because he just... For him to get feedback on how he has impacted people's lives, I cannot tell you how much it means to this man, not that he needs it, but to know that there's just people out there who are affected by his change. He just loves it. He's an incredible, incredible human being. And I would love for you guys to be able to shout out, like, we are I, or, you know, even so hail and, like, you know, I just, I feel I might be, I might be crazy. I get it. I understand. But I would, I just feel like this man needs to be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in some category. I don't know enough about Nobel Peace Prizes to know the categories and what it would fall in. But I just know that this man, it is 
disingenuous not to honor with him with some kind of privilege of just saying we acknowledge the personal sacrifice you have made for like the 60 70 years you've been on this planet from the day that you were born you've been born to sacrifice your life and you have every single day and every single step along the way i would love if you guys could reach out and let me know if you think the same so i say to you after you listen to this and you prepare yourself for the release on sunday be prepared because it is going to change your life it wholeheartedly will because it has changed mine 